my YouTube channel, you're watching it because I'm back again with really, really important and much needed video. Um, guys, I think we need to talk this out and we need to talk this out today. Um, I am really amused and baffled to actually talking about it again because I think I said stuff about it before as well in uh, certain videos, but I think that I need this specific video to be made to make those people understand or some people understand that i am aware of certain facts so yeah before we get started please like the video subscribe to the channel turn on the post notification bell if you have not already and let's grow this family together um and nourish it and make it go further and further and further and without any more time let's get to the video and I'm going to tell you guys what are going to be the parts that we will be talking today about. And hey guys, so today we're going to go and talk about certain stuff in my life that uh, is certainly quite important to me. And I think it is important to you guys as well. We're going to go and talk about hate that I'm getting, my response to it. Why did I delete or rather why, why did I stop making videos on my first channel? And... A lot more so without any further ado let's get to the first point so what kind of hate I'm getting is really um, I'm baffled and I'm amused like at the same time because and for those people who do not see their comments in the comment section just to let you know I delete any negativity on my channel it does not have to include um, just me even the content that I put out, if you are going negative, yeah, if you if there's some criticism to the work, you're always welcome. But unnecessary hate is not for my channel. So yeah, that is the, the reason that you can't see your comment. And le now let's get to why I get so much hate. Number one, uh, I get hate from people for the way I speak like um my english skills my accent and everything and i was so like i couldn't believe my eyes when i saw a comment like not one but like more than one some saying i'm i'm trying to be white and sim said specifically that i'm trying to be black just on the basis of how I speak. See, I'm sorry. It actually, it makes me feel so weird and hilarious at the same time. They're very contradictory words, but I think it, it is something how I feel about this. It's because number one, I get these kind of comments from mostly from South Asian region, right? And to be specific, India, right? Indian, us, my people, like my people think a South Asian or let's be more specific, Indians can't speak English or can't speak with this kind of accent. I just want to know why like are you trying to see this is what happens you're trying to oppress your own people you know you are giving other people the chance to stereotype you because you are stereotyping yourself all right in the see i don't want to say this but let me put it this way the 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 education that i got it was basically i was studying british english because i was always influenced by american english because of the shows that i used to watch because of the music that i used to listen i was always always more you know I was grasping that more, much more than I was grasping what I was studying. And now I'm just a mix of both. I just use something here, something there, 
and I certainly develop this accent from a lot of and that influence has to also include a lot of my friends like really I do have American friends then I have friends from Britain as well then I have my friends from Australia France and so on and so forth right and a lot of things was because I was exposed to so many different ethnicities, races, uh, so many different people from so many different countries. I just got so much from these people that they influenced me in so many freaking ways that that's how I ended up with this. It is something that developed. It was not there from the start. It in, Initially, I was... I... I I had this accent, but then it was it became more pronounced and pronounced and pronounced with the with the way I was you know going in my life, and I can't change it. You like it or you don't like it. I can't change it, cause this is how it ended up. You feel me? This is how it it ended up. And for those people who said you're trying to be white or you're trying to be black, for those both. Do you think I look white or do you think I look black? Where? That's my question. Where? Like, do you ever see me going all the way out, like making my skin white or have you ever really seen me trying to I just don't understand see every single race has their cultural values and I do respect everything and I respect and I'm proud of my own culture I'm proud of my own ethnicity that does not depict that I'm trying to get out of my own race or my own ethnicity. I'm trying to fit in in something else. Yes, I did that. But there was a phase in my life that I was doing that too. I hate going into that past, but there was a time where I was getting oppressed by my own people because of my skin color, because I was dark, because I was the darkest kid in my class. Um, People used to see me with pity, with sympathy. Some people, some of them didn't even want to talk to me. Some people thought that they're being, you know, they don't want to be bad to me because what so and what forth. I've been through all that. And I was so insecure about myself. The only thing that got me through that phase was my dancing. I started dancing really early. And I think that it was the only time when I felt really powerful and really not being submissive to anybody or to the society or their beauty standards. I feel very beautiful in my skin. I'm very beautiful brown color and I own it. I am brown and I own it. And for those people who say, oh, you don't say that you are this, is the, my only response to that people is, what do you do when you meet people? You say, hey, what's up? I'm brown. Do you really do that? Just think for one freaking second and you you will know what I'm talking about. You just go and say hello to your friends and what's up? You never go out and say, hey, what's up? I'm brown. Hey, what's up? I'm white. Hey, what's up? I'm black. Anyways, so we, we, we need to get out of that phase. So I had I had been racially discriminated too. It was not really bad. It was see people had do have stereotypes. But the thing is that you are when you're oppressing your own people, what you're doing is you are encouraging the other people to oppress you. You know? If you think that an Indian person can't have an accent, an English accent, or they cannot speak English in a certain way, you are, what you're doing is just discriminating yourself or creating stereotypes for yourself. Please then do not go out and say, oh, the West discriminate us. They do. 
there's no they discriminate every single person they discriminate asians they discriminate black people they discriminate even white people they discriminate and indians and those and that they discriminate even religion they don't care some people just don't care about anything and there are people like this they don't think it's offensive i never go and support those people but what i mean is try and not encourage them you know do not encourage them that every indian person is rajesh kutrapali i used to love that show back in the days i used to watch that. i've seen that show from season one to the not the end one but i i, I started feeling like when they got their girlfriends and stuff like that it became like a bit boring for me personally uh, after that i started like watching other shows but I used to find that show really funny until I really realized that what they're doing is they are exaggerating the way Indian people speak. And I realized that when some people actually wanted me to speak the way Rajesh Kuzrapali does and they were like, hey, can you speak like that? I'm like, wow, like I really can't. Like I want to, but I don't know how to. I want to be the part of the joke. You know, I want to, I want to invest myself and I'm going to, I'm just going to, you know, invest myself as well. And I'm going to tell because they are my friends, some of them. And, um, these kind of jokes are only possible when you're friends with people, right? Just the friends. Somebody, if you do it to somebody you don't know, you are just being offensive. But some people I think are just curious more than trying to be. Some people really intentionally do it to be offensive and try to show you you are any less than them but some people are just ignorant and some people are just they're just curious so i'm more about those curious people i just i, I don't i don't give a fuck about those ignorant and who are intentionally trying to show that they're any bigger than us so let them be and uh, please don't generalize it to any race because racism is present in every single person uh sorry that went way too harsh uh racism is present in every single race that's how it is don't come up to me oh um and this race and we are not racist in certain way you are if you say i'm a hypocrite i am a hypocrite i will i'm, I'm a human i'm not perfect I might want to mold things and think something that really gives my idea to, you know, I want to just put out my idea. I'm, I am a hypocrite in many things and I could be and I do it unintentionally. I don't want to be a hypocrite, but I, sometimes you, you are, you can't change it. And it will, and it, it is for every single person, you know? You want to be more on, on open about everything, but then you you don't want to own it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that is the thing. So please don't go out and tell other people, hey, you, you're being racist. Hey, you're being... Because you, ooh, that's what you do too. When you are a majority, that does not mean that you have the uh, right to do anything bad to the minority but you know that there are cer certain wrong things going on here do you think a darker skin turned person don't face discrimination here in india whereas people have so many different colors you might be living somewhere else because they does it happened with me once i think i, I was so insecure i wanted any i just wanted my skin to be light no matter what no matter what at that time literally but now i am perfectly okay when you know when, when i went out and i was i was so um exposed to so many different races and i was exposed to so many different people i stood out and that's what i loved about it i loved I stood out on the basis of my culture, I stood out on the basis of my looks, I stood out on the basis of so many distinctions on my skin color, every single thing. And I loved that attention. I loved how different I was. Before I was just trying to fit in, 
and now I was loving the fact that I was so different. See, the fact that changed the one line that I heard from one of my friends, she's, um, she is from Korea, and she said when, once, she said that if there are 100 people in a room, and if you are trying that every single person, 100 out of 100 people, accepts you, that's not going to happen. You are living in a fantasy. That's not going to happen. Even if one person accept you, you know, and says, hey, you look really good, you're, you're beautiful. Just believe that one person. And that's how it is. And it's not just about girls. Don't make it that. Really, guys experience that too. Really. So many Indian friends, so many of them who want to be lighter skin and all i can say is that just be just be happy with whatever what whatever makes you happy even if you want to do something but just don't harm yourself literally just don't just just really don't um i just don't understand all of this. I'm not some motivational speaker. I don't know how to how to calm people down or anything like that. What I can only do is tell my experiences and let you know that whatever you have is beautiful. Like there is somebody who who think you are beautiful. Really. I was so scared back in the days to tell people, my own people, that I had a huge crush on Will Smith. Because according to our beauty standards, darker skin is not beautiful. And don't get me wrong, I love my Shawn Mendes. I love me some Maluma. I love me some uh, Jaden Smith nowadays. He's really, I hope he's, I think he's above 18. I hope he is. Just just for the fact he is a really good standard, I guess. Good genes have been passed. So, uh, and then I love me some Rithik Roshan. I love me some BTS. I love me some Big Bang. I love me some 91. I love all these people. And they are all, I love me, Samran Veer Singh. Come on. They are epitome of beauty for me. You can have a different opinion. I love all of them. Do not just stereotype. Just don't stereotype. That's You are missing out on so much. You have no idea. You're, you're literally missing out so freaking much. If you are just stereotyping yourself or putting yourself in a shell, just don't. And you can't be into my answer to that that person who said I was trying to be white or to that person who said I was trying to be black. I can't change my race. Nobody can. Nobody can. I'm brown. I was born brown. I'm gonna stay brown. No matter what I do. I cannot be a white woman. I cannot be a black woman. No. You are born with it. This is going to be my answer. And if you're doing that, if you're trying to be different race, I feel pity for you because that means let's not get into it. But like, that's really sad if you do that. Anyways, so yeah the next part is and the last part that i'm going to talk about today is going to be um why i deleted my first channel uh where i was uh, reacting to k-pop i was reacting to bts i surely just got into bts for about six months um and i had to delete you know rather I, i've not deleted the channel though but i stopped posting videos on this channel because I 
never thought of the kind of hate that I was gonna get through that channel. Like, there were so many people who were like, literally, who were like, supporting me and supporting me with all their heart. Even now, I still have so many people asking me why I don't post videos on my first channel. And my only response is that I'm going through something or I have, I'm busy. But the truth is that I couldn't handle the hate that I was getting. I'm gonna be bold and open about it. I just couldn't handle it. I was getting a lot of love, but I couldn't handle the hate I was getting. Cause people started to get really personal. See, if you didn't like my reaction, if you think I said something wrong, you could educate me, a good criticism, you know? But if you have nothing to do with the content that I'm putting, and it's just all about my ethnicity, or how I look, and how I speak, and you know, what I'm wearing, if you're just gonna be like all about that, that is really depressing and i started to question myself i was i started questioning like wow what what exactly did i did to get that kind of hate i'm literally laughing now but at that time i was real depressed and i was just thinking what exactly i did to get so much hate from people i don't even they don't even know me they have no freaking idea who am i and they're trying to like judge me of of my videos and that's so weird like i was getting so freaking much hated by a lot of people and i think after a few months or maybe a month or two i started my second channel and i started uh, posting of like different videos because i was taking uh you know i was learning how to sing uh, because I'm I'm a really bad singer. Yeah, I was a really, I, I'm still, I still am. I'm not gonna go and say, oh, I've, you know, completely changed. Now I'm the best singer in the world. No, I'm still learning. Uh, now the process has gone really, really slow though. But yeah, and I started putting that and I started to feel more empowered. And then I started doing these uh, clips from the shows and everything. And I still do get paid. I think I've pretty much explained in the first. I still do get hate, but now I think I've pretty much understood how to handle it. It took me a lot of time because I've I've been lucky enough to never get racially discriminated in, in really big sense. A little bit, one or two, yeah, here and there, yeah. By own, even by my own people, yeah. But I've been really lucky to not you know being discriminated in a way where i feel depressed I, or my i went into depression i did feel depressed at that time but i never went into depression uh, some people have really bad experiences and my heart goes to all those people i think rather than doing all this we should care about what's happening in the world and yeah this this was pretty much it i just couldn't handle the 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 hate and the pressure that i was getting at that time and that is the only reason why am i not posting anything on my first channel or why i am trying to this there's this person uh, a really huge shout out to ayush who has been trying to to ask me to make videos on bts um I usually did try, but I just, I don't know if it's okay now to put a video. Um, I will try and put the video out, but I think, um, yeah, I, I still, I think might take some days to really think about it if I'm now ready to handle that hate because I'm going to get it and I'm, I'm like, yeah, I get it. Some people are just gonna hate. But just come up with something that is not offending billions of people. Just don't come up with that. Come up with something that goes to me, you know? Some people call me fat, ugly. 
And I was like, yeah, well, you know, whatever. I can get over that. You know, if you think you're, f if you think I'm fat, mm, could be it. I don't mind. Um, I might even try to lose weight, but I, I'm not gonna, you know, go extreme with it. Yeah, to the point where I feel I'm healthy, I, I would, I would actually take that criticism. Some people said um, I'm ugly, and I will take that too. If you think I'm ugly. Um, I mean, you are entitled to your own opinion. I don't think I'm ugly and I'm entitled to my own opinion. I can take that. But do not go and, you know, offend billions of people. Just don't do that. That's that's not right. And on this note, we're just going to go and finish the video today. It became so long, but it was so good to talk to you guys. I, I feel so much lighter now that I've already talked to you guys about this it was so it was summing up so much in me that i had to let it all out and i hope i could see you guys in the next video till then bye bye please do comment uh the videos that you guys want me to do and yeah love ya